Well, as uh, you said in the introductory part, uh, the president uh, encountered his doctor, and the doctor expressed a wish, you know, to see him. Uh, and uh, so they agreed, and uh, uh, President Buhari is on his way back to London uh, to have this meeting. Right. Well, when you say the president encountered his doctor, what, what does that mean? Well, because it was a chance meeting. And the president uh, had a technical stopover on his way back to Washington, from Washington, and, and, uh, and, and uh, he had time in his hands, saw the doctor, and uh, the doctor said uh, he wished to see him. Right. And, and here we are. Right. You, you mentioned that technical, and I'll put that in quotes, stopover yeah. in London during the president's recent trip to the U.S. Was that really a technical stopover? Well, it surely was, because as I said in a short response to some of the uh, journalists, the president uses a big jet with a longer distance capability. Uh, that jet has been away from the air fleet for about two months now. It's undergoing you know, refers and the reconfiguration of sorts. And so therefore the president uses a shorter one. It would usually take you about 12 hours to do Abuja, Washington. And the maximum the jet could do is about 12 hours, 40 minutes. So the idea is not to push it to the end and take chances. So technically speaking, they need it for reasons of safety, you know, have a stopover, and do confirmation of some you know, technical elements. Right, and, well. and, and as he stopped over, his doctor just happened to uh, be there. Well, well, he had time in his hands. He had a meeting with the doctor, and there, there it was. There. I mean, he really went to London to see his doctor, didn't no. he? I mean, well, there's, no, there's, no, there's no problem with saying that that well, is what he went to do. I well, mean, the problem is that those were not the facts. If those were the facts, we yeah, would but, have but said you're, so. But you sound as though, by pure coincidence, his doctor happened to be there. I mean, because, that, that doesn't Because there was no sense, initial plan to have met the doctor in London. President Buhari would not have hidden this fact. So if President he knew that Buhari he was... got to London and said, oh, by the way, I'm flipping through my phone <laughs> list. <laughs> hey, there's the doctor. Why not phone him to come over? The well... opposition, PDP, have, of course, seized on that. They said the president is deceiving Nigerians about his health and that that technical stopover in London, for want of a better word, was a lie. Well, they are entitled to... The opposition is not supposed to believe us. And, and so, therefore, when they said those things, but the facts, as, as we state, as, as they are, we stated them clearly. The president had no plan to have seen a doctor in the UK, but he happened to have met him. And then the doctor said, well, I wish that we could meet and see you. And look at it this way. The president left London. This is nine, ten months since he came back. He has had a good run because he has not looked back, you know, to say, well, let me do some confirmation and let me do a check. Yeah, so, but l looked back from what? Well, you know that uh, he had... Because, a... because we don't know what ails the president. You guys have never told us what ails the president. Well, as I said, if that is to be disclosed, it is entirely in the domain of the president to say, to say this is it. The president admitted he was ill. He kept away from work and gave a responsibility to the vice president until he returned. And I'm saying that he came back in excellent shape better health than perhaps even when he took office and he's had a good run right but you're nine saying... months nearly a year mm. since that time <laughs> nothing is wrong but you keep saying. saying excellent shape but we don't know what excellent shape what well, he's recovering from i mean l let me put this to you mm. garba mm. Nigerians are, of course, the ones paying for his health trips abroad. Yeah. Should they not know what they're paying for? If you came to me and said you had an ailment, mm. and I said, okay, I'm going to sponsor you in hospital, mm. would I not want to know what I'm paying for mm. and to therefore gauge the cost, mm. estimate the cost of what I'm going to sponsor you, how much it's going to cost me to sponsor you? Well, I think that this is an evolving situation, and I think that for President Mohamed Buhari, he has taken disclosure to the farthest distance that any Nigerian president had done so. 